kind of awesome being able to put your uh, face shield up to pick your nose and not have any wind in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat it when you were done? No, I have gloves on. It uh -huh. just would taste funny. How do you pick your nose in gloves? It just, just itching it. I didn't actually stick my finger in my nose. Uh -huh. Nasty nostrils? No. Okay. Do not have abnormally sized nostrils. Thank you very much. What's happening guys? Well today, well what's happening on Facebook? Well you are literally watching the first time Miss Stacy rides her new bike. It is a 2001 F650 GS and she's gonna go left. That I am. Nice. <laughs> the, the clutch, the um, shifter is in a weird place. I don't know. I can, it's very, very hard to... Yeah, you're going to have to retrain yourself entirely. Yeah. So she just picked up this bike. Uh, as I said, it's a 2001. It has 31,000 miles on it. However, it is a GS. And touch the ground. As the infamous Mr. Duff actor said, the early GSs were way over engineered and uh, he says that bike will run a hundred thousand miles easily uh, we haven't even taken it over to wash it yet like I literally rode it home and I rode it around a little bit yesterday and it runs extremely strong um, had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever took a look at the oil oil looks good shifting uh, is impossible so what's the problem with the shifting I can't reach it. My foot doesn't go there. What do you mean? It's like too far up or? It's something. I'm going to stop and look at it because. All right. Ah, it's so smooth. It is very smooth. <laughs> so going down isn't a problem. It's getting my foot underneath it. So let me take a look at why. So yeah, let's see why. Uh, yeah, rest on the other side. Oh, it's way low under your foot yeah my foot doesn't bend that way you gotta and go way down it does not bend that way in these boots at all can we, we can, move it we can probably move it up Ooh. but you're gonna have to train like yourself it's like impossible i can't like i'm gonna have to like reach down and do it with the side of my foot yeah that's how <laughs> i do it on this but yeah the oil looks good uh we need to check out the coolant you need to do some circles milady get used to how that thing turns um, you can go into the cul-de-sac straight ahead uh, but um, it's got basically brand new uh, TKC 70s on it uh, the chain was absolutely disgusting so I cleaned it yesterday pretty well but we're gonna take it over and actually wash it because as you can see it's pretty dirty I'm gonna go back to, to where we were oh, okay um, yeah, it, was, than mine. <laughs> it looks like it hasn't been ridden off road a whole lot. It looks like it was probably uh, mostly a, a street rider. Uh, we know that the guy that she bought it from owned it only for the summer. Uh, and then he lived downtown in Denver and he didn't want to uh, ride motorcycles anymore because downtown Denver is an insane place even just to drive a car. Um, so I don't, I don't believe that there's anything wrong with it. I just believe that the guy was like, not for me, and uh, got rid of it. And the funny thing was, he was as tall, he's almost as tall as I am. I think he was probably like six foot. And uh, that bike, like to ride that bike, I have to sit on the rear seat <laughs> to drive it. Don't run into me. I won't. Uh, this doesn't turn any, it does not turn weird at all. The, all my right. problem is this clutch goes all the way out before it engages. Yeah, and the my clutch. hand is not big enough for that. Right, the clutch is super far out. So we're going to have to get you an adjustable clutch lever. We're probably just going to have to spend money. All right, let's go out to the main road and uh, see if you can get it up into third gear, like, reliably. Well, I can if I put my foot out to the side and pull up on it. 
see. Yeah. That's neutral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have noticed it likes to find neutral oh, a little man. bit. Yeah, this clutch lever is ridiculous. Holy yeah, it's, crap. It's way out there. I know. That's that's what I was thinking while I was test driving it and whatnot. But I like how it's lowered for like short legs, but it's like Right. For Something we can fix. What's that that guy that what guy? Um, that Halloween guy that has like really long fingers? Oh, <laughs> I don't I don't know his Not name. Not Edward Scissorhands, but you know what I mean. The other yeah, guy. Yeah. The... Well, he seemed to be all right taking off. Neutral. Oh yeah. There you go. It does sound weird. You're right. Yeah, it sounds weird. It's a it, that's a big thumper. That's what they sound like. I mean, that's it reminds me a lot of Everide's KLR. Which way are we going left? Yep. Figure out where your turn signals are. Uh, that's not hard to do. It's but, just the the clutch and the shifter. Uh, at least this time you know how to uh, turn the signal off. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first time I've been in third, though. There Bye. you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it was. <laughs> that no, was the... I, I didn't dump the clutch, I just <laughs> Oh no, I know you didn't dump the clutch, I just said that was the first uh the yeah. first twist of the throttle that went, went somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not used to that. Yeah. Uh it's like riding a couch. Yeah. It totally is. Oh it goes up hills. <laughs> like, I don't know about all that. There is no point to this windshield at all, though. You, yeah, I know. That's that's <laughs> the thing. It's actually less than a point. I think it purposely drives the wind into your face. It, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. You need one that goes up. I just can't uh, believe somebody rode it for that far and never changed it. Right. And if you gotta pay, that's that's the thing. You're now you're now in the territory of a, buying stuff for an, an ADV bike, and just adding those few letters to a product makes it cost seventy percent more than it should. Yeah. Well, so, windscreen. Five bucks looks to be the, the taller one. Right. Uh, then there's like every version of, of uh, expensive above that. Maybe right. Up to like two hundred and something. But... Right. They have ones that short for like 150. Yeah. Like why? You uh, yeah, you want to get one that's gonna at least keep the wind off you. Like I'm riding right now and I don't have any wind on me at all except for on my arms. It doesn't feel bulky, you know. No, I mean it's still pretty small. That's it the is. thing. It's a lot bigger to you, but, but it's, it's still like, it's, it's still a pretty big. small bike. Uh, I don't like that. It's shifty. Yours does the same thing? Am I going straight or right? Uh, you're going right. The clunk? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. If you go, yeah, if you go down to first. Did you find neutral again? Yep. <laughs> From the side. Yeah, figure like, unless you almost come to a complete stop, you don't have to go down to first. Yeah. Second gear on that thing, that it'll, it'll just chug. <laughs> yeah, going down into first, the, the AT clunks. They all, all, even Xena clunked when yeah, I first got her. The XT does not. <laughs> no, the XT doesn't. I think it has something to do with um, um, the tree. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know. <laughs> you look good on it. I mean, you really look like you fit on it very well. I do. It's made your, for your legs are good. Like, you're in good position. You're sitting upright. You know, don't look like hands. you're. The, uh, the levers are too short, like way too long. You don't feel like you're hunched over forward or anything, do you? No, I feel fine. That's good. Like, feel like you could sit like that for several hours. Oh, I know where we're at. Yeah, we're gonna go right up here. It's the Arapahoe County line. Yep, yep. So, definitely, uh, 
different. How's how so? It's halfway. Um, suspension is closer to the Zongshen than the XT. <laughs> okay, but, so that means we need to turn it up. But so. it's not bone crunching like the Zongshen was. Yeah. You know. Yep. Like the XT is definitely way more comfortable to ride on like this, but it's not. Uh, this isn't like painful or anything. Right. Well, two things. You're on 70-30 tires, so they're mostly road. And, uh, really? yeah. And yeah, we can adjust the suspension. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it down, whatever you need to do. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Standing on this is like perfectly, perfect height. Can you grip the tank with your legs? With your knees? I'd have to go like this to do that. Yeah, what can you grip with your knees? Right here. <laughs> Just the seat? I guess so. Yeah. Whatever, whatever is there. Yeah. Feels like the seat. I mean, wow. you fit this perfectly. This is like the nicest Segway I've ever ridden. Yeah, you fit perfectly. Height-wise, you look like you're standing right. Ah, oh, this is so comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all need a DS. <laughs> Forget the Starbucks jokes. There's a reason they buy these things. Yeah, let's let's make a right So here. this is what Colorado actually looks like. No, oh, this is what Kansas looks like. <laughs> yeah, well, half of Colorado looks like Kansas. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Help. Can you get it? I can't pick it back up. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Hurry. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ugh, that thing's heavy. You good? Yeah, let me just work the cramp out of my butt. All right, I let go, so. I got it now. <laughs> Ooh. I have a feeling that, has what, that is what has happened to it before. So I think you. it laid down on the... Uh, on the pannier? On the pannier, yeah. Ooh. So there you go, there's your first lesson and your bike's heavier now. Yeah, it is. I'm glad I knew that this would shut off as soon as I... <laughs> Put the kickstand down. I can't believe I could catch it though. Like I, I feel like my other bike, I wouldn't have been able to catch it. You have more foot on the ground. Yeah. Oh. You, you okay? Did you hurt that's yourself? pretty in a Kansas way. Oh no! I, you know you get that cramp in your butt when you're trying to hold something in a weird position. Yeah, you yeah did I got good. that. You did good, not letting it fall. Ugh. Yeah, if I'd have had like crash bars on it or something, <laughs> I probably would have let it go because it kind of hurt, but. Be careful. Ha <laughs> ha.